Good morning, you motherfuckers. Welcome to the mo- <clears throat> you motherfuckers welcome to the monday morning news channel i am your host dana keith and today's breaking news we have is the top 50 list is going viral okay and a lot of people are making a non-top 50 list at any rate we want to talk about it so today we have devon pearson our hip-hop specialist let's get right to it who deserves a mention okay in this year's top 50 This is Devin Pearson reporting live, your hip-hop specialist. And the Soul Brooklyn Challenge has went crazy. If you haven't put in your challenge, go ahead and hashtag So Brooklyn Challenge. Make sure you at me, Devin Pearson. Ha <laughs> ha. See you there. Streets fuck with the real. Cardi B real. Y'all better not fuck with Cardi. This is Devin Pearson reporting live, your hip-hop specialist. Everybody has a top 50 list out. And everybody's got an opinion. But what is the criteria in which they are basing these lists on? Is it the artist? Is it lyricist? Is it impact? Who really knows? I don't. And that's the problem is that we nobody really knows. Amen. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give you my two cents on this topic here. With Cardi B, her album, first off, if you like Cardi B or you don't like like Cardi B, that's irregardless to the level of success that she's had and the amount of respect that she deserves. In the culture of hip-hop, she is the epitome of the story of success, coming from nothing and having her dreams come true. But if you look at her album, her premier debut album, Invasion of Privacy, this album went crazy. I mean, it fulfilled all expectations and more. She already won. All right, I'm going to just give you some numbers real quick. Her first single, Bodak Yellow, went nine times platinum. Nine times platinum. All right, her single, I Like It, went seven times platinum. And that's just a couple of the singles, okay? Chris Brown, his album, Indigo, passed one billion streams. All right, that's 29 tracks on that album, which I've played front to back, which I really enjoyed that vibe of that project and that record. So y'all make sure y'all tune into that Chris Brown, okay? Chris Breezy. That's a legend. Our Times Michael. Fuck what you heard. Live and on the streets. Marcus, back to you. If we really want to talk impact, we want to talk about Cardi B and Chris Brown. I know some people laugh. Impact, Cardi B, Chris Brown. Come on. In hip-hop, we got to give people the credit what credit is due. And in this past year, I think Cardi B and Chris Brown, to me, has some of the best years. Now, if we're going to mention a hip-hop list, there's no way we cannot mention the man Drake. Drake is just killing the game. So I just want to get some feedback on Drake because everybody seems to hate him. But what the fuck are you going to hate about? If you would have asked me. I think that Drake is really killing the game on all assets, all phases, all levels. I mean, really, what what can you say about the man? He's killing their ass. He may, yay, drop a gospel album. What more can you say? Jesus walks. Amen. Young Berg is Hitmaker. Did you guys know that? Young Berg is Hitmaker? Hitmaker is Young Berg. Young Berg is Hitmaker. Let's go ahead and get some feedback. According to Fat Joe, Hitmaker, he in the streets killing the game. Numbers don't lie. Thanks for that feedback. A couple notable mentions on Hitmaker's record. Track list that he's produced or written songs with is Big Sean, A Boogie with the Hoodie. You have Wiz Khalifa, Rihanna, Fabulous. And these are incredible artists. So if you're producing tracks for them, you know you're doing something good, okay? Now the next topic we want to hit on is an artist named Troy Av. Troy Av is a rapper from Brooklyn who's gotten into some legal issues with Tax Stone. 
And this has become a huge mess, man. Just a huge mess. But Troy Avis, a New York artist from Brooklyn, who on the rise, he's created quite a bit of success, but also a bit of controversy. And his latest debacle with the legal system, he had a podcast with Nori and the Drink Champs. And on there, he said this. Troy Av, he said the streets is a myth. All right, I'm going to head out. Marcus, live from the streets. Well, with that being said, we're speaking about hip hop. Today's a hip hop episode. I want to finish this off with the funny clip of the week. Now, this here is a skit about the artist Kanye West. Y'all go check out his new project, Jesus is King, all right? Jesus died on the cross from my sin. And baby shark. Do, 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 do. Hey, Rance Allen, I was thinking about you coming on the track and doing. Ah, you, well, then I'd be like, yeah, Kanye to the. Hey, Kirk Franklin, do you want a revolution? Ooh, ooh, it's your boy Kanye to the. Listen, I'm thinking about a new gospel name. Uh, what do you think about Yahweh? Ah, that's Jesus' other name. What about Elohim? Elohim? I can say like Elohim. <laughs> no, that's his name too. Dang, there ain't no good name in the Bible no more. Hey, does anybody know any good scriptures that I could put in the intro? Huh? Nobody on those scriptures. Is anybody in here saved? What about Jesus Webb? Can I use Jesus Webb? Jesus, I can go Jesus Webb and I go, uh-huh, uh-huh. Don't you do that at church. Listen, y'all keep doing it. It's three-part harmony. You ain't got all the answers. That's alto. You ain't got all the answers. That's tenor. You ain't got... <coughs> y'all, sopranos, they're not hitting. I need Kirk Franklin and the family, Tamla Man, or somebody, because y'all suck at that. Thanks for that. Now we have our weather report with Sparkle. Sparkle, take it away. Oh, welcome back. This is Sparkle with your weather report, 72-hour weather report. So just so you know, just so you know, it's looking real clear right about here, okay? So it's looking real clear right about here. And I like I like to have a little entertainment. So as you can see right here, that's looking real, real good, okay? So make sure y'all have a great week, okay? Oh, uh, my name is Sparkle, and I'm the weather person. I'm the weather bass, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Till next time, Sparkle. Thanks, Sparkle. I appreciate that. Well, hey, thanks for watching today, Monday Morning News, the Danny Keith Show. I'm your host, Danny Keith, and we always want to leave you with a bit of motivation for the week, okay? This week's motivational word or moment or topic is believe. Believe is so important because if you believe in yourself, that is all that you need. And if you really believe in yourself, you should chase that dream or that opportunity, that goal down. If you really believe in yourself, that is the foundation to success. That is the starting point. That is the seed to be watered. That is really point A to get you to point B is simply you have to believe, okay? Now, if nobody else believes in you, that's fine. They don't have to. It's not for them to understand or for you to convince them. So don't waste your time. You need to believe in yourself and you need to chase that dream like you really believe it. That being said, chase your dreams this week and y'all have a blessed one. Until next time, Danny Keith, peace. Thanks for watching Facebook. Give us a like, comment. Make sure you guys follow my page, Danny Keith fan page and also Danny Keith film. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Until next time, peace.